Good morning, everyone. So I'm here in Denver, Colorado, doing a program this week. So I came a few days early to see my nieces, my best friend, and my sister. And so having a great time. And this week, I've had several people email me and had conversations around relationship sending or new relationships. And they, we just talked about how do you live in this new normal, which I'm sure many of you can, you know, have, can relate to. How do you live in this new normal that many of you might be in in your life? So I just wanted to give you some things to think about today and this week as you're living in your new normal. And number one would be that if you're going to live in this, in this new normal, you got to be willing to let go of your past. So many times we don't embrace the new normal because we're still holding on to the anger, the, the bitterness, the sadness, the fear of, of our past. And we cannot allow ourselves to experience joy and happiness when we're still living in the pain of our past. So are you willing to let go of it? That doesn't mean not ever feel it. That doesn't mean you, you don't, you know, that you don't honor your emotions that you're going through. It means that you're no longer going to make yourself a victim of your past. Because you can't show up fully today when you're still hanging all that baggage over your shoulder, showing, with it up, showing up with it every day. So are you willing to let go of your past? That's a big deciding factor is if you're going to live fully and happily in your new normal. And so are you willing to do that? Number two is I always say, let it rain. You know, I think sometimes in your new normal, you have to embrace the rain. That sometimes it's going to be ugly. It's going to be nasty. The weather outside's not going to be good. But when it rains, you grow. And are you willing to let it rain in your life? Because you don't want to tie these two together. But sometimes when we don't let go of our past... It's because we at least know what that, that feeling's like. We know what we're experiencing. We know the pain. We know the hurt. We know the sadness. And what happens if I let all of that go? And then somebody said to me, what if I let it all go and experience nothing at all or feel nothing at all? Well, I can promise you that won't happen. Because when you can, the only way you can let it go is by forgiving someone, forgiving yourself, forgiving the other person. And when you can forgive them, you open yourself up for joy and happiness and a newfound love. In the, in the new normal that you're in and with the people that are in your life. And so when it rains in your new normal, know that we are that God and, or the universe or whoever you want to call it is planting a seed in your life to let things grow. But you got to be willing to let it rain. And when it doesn't rain, you're not growing. So can you embrace the rain? You know, I think one of the other things I would say about how do you live in this new normal is to not... Have everyone approve of what your new normal is. It is not up to other people to say, I agree with it, I don't agree with it. You've got to get clear about what makes you happy in your new normal. And if it makes you happy, and what makes you happy this week or this month might not be what makes you happy a year from now or three years from now. But other people aren't living in your new normal. And can you get okay? Not your kids not your partner, not your family members, and not your friends. And if you're clear about what makes you happy in a healthy way to making you happy, can you, can you honor that and not stop searching for validation and making sure everyone else agrees with it in your life? And finally, I would say, you know, I think there's a, 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 Marianne Williamson, a return to love, once said, we cannot leave one situation and go into another with the same baggage and the same feelings and all the same emotions and expect a different result. So this ties it all together. Are you willing to let go of your past? Are you willing to let go of the baggage, the hurt, the pain? Are you willing to let it all go and get clear about how you need to show up differently in this new normal? Because if you walked into this new normal the same way you walked out of the last one, don't expect a different result. You got to get clear about what do, you, what do I need to own so that I can show up differently? Do I, need to do, do I need to have certain behaviors that are differently than I did before? Do I need to communicate differently? Do I need to start expressing my emotions more? Do I need to set clearer boundaries with people? Get really clear about what you need to heal and get really clear about what you need to do differently in this, in this new normal so that you can give people a different version of yourself that's a better version of yourself. But that's the work you gotta do for yourself, no one else. All right. So I hope it gives you some things to think about, right? One, if I can remember all that craziness I just spewed out, was to get really clear about, um, about letting go of your past. Two was can you let it rain? Three is about um, you know, letting people, you know, not getting people to approve of it, getting happy in your new normal, not searching for validation. 
And finally, not taking the baggage of your past and bringing it into your new normal. So I hope it gives you at least one of those. I hope one of those resonates with you and gives you something to think about. You deserve to be happy in your new normal. You do not have to walk around sad. You don't have to walk around depressed. You don't have to walk around angry. There's a different choice. And it starts by you forgiving and allowing it to rain a little bit because it's going to get, you know, get messy. But know when it rains that you're growing. So if no one tells you they, they believe in you, I believe in you. You deserve to be happy. I wish you the best of luck. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.